YouTube, we got rained out. I just brought my camera in outside from the AC, so it's gonna fog up here. But we'll get you inside and show you some of the supplies we went and got yesterday. Today's Saturday. We're rained out. Probably will be rained out all day. I don't know if you can see that. Here, let's wipe you off here. You can see something. There you go. Pretty gray. Cloudy will show you over that way. So we don't know if it's gonna keep raining or not. So let's go inside and I'll show you some of the stuff we got for supplies. Okay, this place is a mess. This place looks like a construction trailer. You have on the job site and this is where you throw all your crap when you're done working. Get our new ladder inside. That way it doesn't get stolen. The other one, they'd have to climb up and unstrap it from the house. Here's my wagon old goodies. Use my old antique radio to listen to. I've got a screw screwed in the big walnut tree, and I got a little piece of paracord where I tie the handle so it can't fall. So there's my radio for the day. All kinds of goodies in here. Just get a pan over there. About everything you need. Drill, grinder, I gotta do some grinding on the concrete step where I got a threshold board, that's why it's in there. Uh, you've got the cordless drill, you've got the sander down in there. Uh, yesterday we picked up a storm window. It actually fit in the 2013 Ford Focus with the window down, uh, seat down. Get it right, the back seat folds down. And we got some more furring strips. There's a long one here. Sorry about the speedy shaky cam. But we saw those off so they fit in the car. And then we had them underneath the edge of the wood right here. The long pieces, I cut them at five foot so they'd fit in the car. There's uh, some of that recycled lumber from the old bench. It's gonna be legs on the platform to turn into a table when we're done. Uh, two by four, two by four foot piece of plywood. We can do this. Uh, Three eight foot two by fours down there. Various supplies over here. Apologize again for the speedy shaky cam. This is just all on the fly. Uh, homemade paint can, piece of rope in a can. Use all the paint up, let it dry, put some more in it. Picked up some more charcoal. There's the 4th of July cannon. Three tarps, two of them were free and one cost me $3. So in my various trips in the past month, I picked up a couple free ones. I see my battery symbol low there, but then we had to buy one for three bucks. Okay, we had to come over here. Uh, we had to get some 60 grit sanding disc. It was out of 80 grit screws. These are from Home Depot. These are from Menards. Okay, Menards ones are a little bit skinnier. That color. These are from Home Depot. They're a little bit fatter and have like more like a thicker coating. I think that's the only reason they're fatter. Okay, this, I'll be doing a video, Vortec 67. Uh, I'll put it in the description when I make the video. So what about this LED light? Let's try this one. I'm going to be using this on our Cavalier on the headlights. See what that is? It just gloss clear. I'll be making a video on that once the house is done, okay? Here's some butyl caulk. I said I have a wood uh, piece of 2x4 treated. It's like a threshold in front of the door. If you see the front door of the house, you'll see a board down there on the concrete step. I'm going to grind a groove, get the old caulking out, and we're going to use this. It's butyl, like a rubber uh, for doors, windows, stuff. So it's butyl. It's not regular caulk. It's not latex. It's not silicone. It's butyl. Uh, this, a neighbor gave me this. Pure linseed oil. $1.69. Old pipe can. And this, which we'll go get some batteries here when we pause. And we'll, there's only like a little bit of the patch inside here that's uh, the original stuff. It's been added to. It's had uh, newer glue and stuff put in it. But, Really nice to have on the shelf. Monkey grip. So, we may show you a little more of that. It just depends here. But, 
get kind of the idea what it gets like when you start working on stuff. Paint brushes. These are a buck a piece, three inch wide. Uh, for painting and primary, these are a buck a piece, inch and a half, doing trim work. A two inch angle brush. I have one I've been using to primer my trim. Here's one of just a square edge two inch brush. So just various stuff, buck a piece. Uh, this was probably two bucks a piece. Yeah, this would be two dollars a piece because it's two inch angle. But these are only a buck a piece, and even these big ones are only a dollar. So we can ruin brushes, don't have to worry about it. But, uh, what else can we do? We don't want this too long a video. I think we'll just give you some pictures. Uh, we may, like I said, we may do a video on this sometime, but we'll take a couple nice pictures of that. But, Thanks for watching. Kind of bored. I'll be going back in the house. It's too wet to do anything outside. It is so humid it will choke you to death. But thanks for watching. I know I'm looking at the timer. This is kind of a long one. But maybe somebody else is stuck inside too today. So thanks again for watching.